Well, more money for starters. The Milwaukee County court system is trying to address that severe backlog in cases by holding night court here. Though the former Supreme Court justice says there is much more to the solution. It's no secret Milwaukee County courts are dealing with thousands of backlogged cases. This summer, the chief judge counting as many as 4,000 felony and misdemeanor cases. Tuesday, former Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice Janine Geske weighing in on the complex issue. The lack of court reporters, the lack of bailiffs, the lack of people in the jail. I mean, all that employment thing is exacerbated in that court system, and yet We've got an uptick in crime and people coming through and people worried about safety, understandably. Um, and so we are in crisis at this moment. Milwaukee's on track to surpass its non-fatal shootings and homicide records again this year. Geske retired from the Supreme Court in 1998 and is director of the Restorative Justice Center at Marquette. She says the court system must do its part to prevent more crimes. One of the things that's been going on in the system, I think that have been really good, is there are various treatment courts. There are alcohol treatment courts, there are veteran courts, there's domestic violence court and they probably don't have enough resources. County Executive David Crowley says while the $14 million in federal pandemic relief funds Governor Tony Evers allocated to Milwaukee County was a positive and encouraging step, Crowley wants to find a way to capture revenue generated within our borders and invest those dollars into critical services like our court system. Alternatively, State Senator Van Wangard tells 12 News the $14 million hasn't proven very effective at fixing the system or clearing the backlog. Adding more than new money, they're needs to be a plan to make the system more efficient and effective. And Caroline Geske said restorative justice is another solution to the problem? That's right. She tells me that she's working with the DA's office and the police department to try to get victims and their loved ones to meet with offenders and talk to those defendants, telling them how they hurt them. She says that is a great way to get those offenders to change their ways, Derek.